Hello e-waste explorers. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will show the inside of an old HP server with year of production 2005. How you can see the server it is in good working condition, but was replaced by my customer with newer model. Before I've took the decision to scrap it, I tried to resell it to one of my e-waste buyers. And of course, this kind of servers are very hard to sell or no resaleable at all. The reason my buyer told me, it's because this models are very old and are not upgradable with new software or new parts. Did you know where is located the biggest server in the world? It's located in China and occupies 10,000 square feet. This is the world's largest server room. The DC in Ho Han is recognized to be the greatest facility for datum storage and processing around the world. The second biggest server is located in the USA. The DC is based in Las Vegas and occupies a territory of over 7,000 square feet. Switch is the owner of the facility, which has patented over 260 technology in the sphere of network and IT development. Because our most precious asset, it's our time. Let's switch it off and start taking apart all the components and extract as much value we can. This is a RAID card and it's used for providing higher storage performance and data redundancy than a single hard disk.
how you can see the RAMs are only one gigabyte. Modern models of servers use at least 16 gigabyte, up to 32 gigabyte of RAM. Now, let's see the heart of this device. From my previous experience with this models, my guess it will be a common Intel Xeon processor. It is a pinless or a LGA processor with a copper-plated surface. Not much precious metals can be recovered from this kind of processors. And of course, the power supply unit has very nice gold-plated fingers. Here we have, and the main motherboard. Let's remove this aluminum heat sinks to see what treasures are waiting underneath. From my experience, this board can go in the high-grade pile. The reason? It is loaded with chips and gold-plated pins, as we can see. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. You can sale it as it is and get a good price, or you can depopulate it, save the chips and the pins for further gold recovery. Personally, I like to save all the chips and pins from high-grade boards for precious metals recovery. Here we have the optical disk drive.
followed by a storage works with a 72 gigabyte cassette or digital data tape. Most of my costumers remove the hard drives for data protection, but today we got a bonus. It is a six slot server and five of them are full. How you can see every hard drive stocking power, it's very low, 150 gigabyte showing how old this model is. Modern models of servers use at least one terabyte and up. There you have it, E-Waste Explores. Thanks for watching and supporting this channel to grow. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and subscribe for more electronic waste adventures. Until next time, keep hustling and be productive.